Hey YouTube, it's Chief Monkey J here. Just want to show you a couple of things I've been making this evening while away at the folks. Bit of boredom, that sort of thing. Um, you may have noticed that a couple of weekends ago, myself, Wessex Blades, Silver Fox, and Bushcraft Canoe, Canoe Bushcraft, I should say. Joe were all out in the woods there, Silver Fox's woods, and uh, Joe gave us all uh, a couple of pouches. There's one here. This is just a tobacco tin pouch. Look up the old slide clips on from very early days. And inside them is a little tobacco tin. I do apologise for shaking. I haven't got a proper video camera here. We're on just just a what's it phone technology? There we go. So that's all they were. Just simple pouch like that. Clip to my carry more. Normally speaking, that happens to have. What's that? That's fire. That's a, just a possible pouch in there. Bits and pieces, paper, and tea light whistle, strike steel, chainsaw, snare wire, fishing kit, sewing kit. That's all the little bits and pieces that you might find useful every now and again. Anyway, as I was walking around the woods. I was thinking, I don't like these things on my belt. Mainly because when you've got your load strap from your rucksack around you, you they get in the way. So I thought, I've got to get this lower. I saw a Swedish guy make something. I thought I'd have a go at doing it myself. What we had along with it was... I don't know where it is. It's on my belt. It was these clips. They made up just a loop of webbing put round your belt and the female end of the uh, clip there and the male end on the other part just a little clip they'd made they said they could have those if you want so what I have done is I've taken one of these which also has a tobacco tin and I want to carry my mora because it's my favourite little knife and for £4.95 you can't even knock it and the woods so I have created this. Yes, I know it's white. Yes, I know you can see it in the dark, but there we go. That's all we had here at the time. So, I've taken an old bit of strop, you can see, get this in here. An old bit of uh, just web in there. Sewed it onto the back of this buckle, which is that. As you can see, it was originally sewn solid in the middle. So you only had a loop left and right, and it down the sides it was st stitched. We've taken the stitching out, taken this off, sewing the webbing strap on the inside, and then in here, I have put, you can just see it on the top, a piece of elastic, white elastic, top and bottom. Now, what I'm going to do, but I haven't got any here, is I'm going to either make an attachment on the bottom, or drop a length paracord through but they're not inside so I can then tie it around my thigh um, I'm thinking I might make a double on this one eventually but we'll see how it goes but basically the idea is I can take my mora now pop it down the top excuse me, I have to get my hands in close and into the sheath if we spin this round I can see in there the white elastic there is gripping the top of the sheath. Got one on the bottom just to stop it going anywhere. And it hangs off your belt like that. And this and this one. This is just my another tobacco tin. With fire lighting kits, waterproof matches, that sort of thing. Other straw deals. That's just the inside of the little pouch. So you can really put anything in these tobacco tins. Anything in those. Anything in uh, this pouch, really. But the whole point was I wanted it lower down on my belt. If I pop that back in here. Very much sorry for doing this one handed on a really bad phone for a first ever sort of here's what I made video. But there we go. Oh, yeah. Someone asked me to do a video about these. We'll do that later. But anyway. I just 
pan down so you can see. One end clip. Now sits on my belt. So my elastic is that tight. If I take my more out, no problem. Drop it in and out. When it's being, because I've got this tag on this side, we can bring it up higher if we want it higher. Or we can send it right down again. It's uh, entirely up to you. Like I say, I've got to have a have some sort of tie on the bottom to keep this on your thigh. So when you bend, it you know it always stays in the right place. And obviously depending on what type of trousers you've got on, I've got jeans on at the moment, as opposed to me technicals. You will uh, wear it anywhere you want, front, back, left, right. So I'm thinking, like I say, we might end up making this a twin pack. We'll see how it goes. But don't know yet. First ever leg pouch really. Now I'm quite keen on the drop leg molly, but I didn't want to spend out when I had these here and a sewing machine handy. Mm, thought I'd whip this up quickly and show you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, be really interested for any comments or replies. Just stick them down at the bottom. Chief Monkey J, think I've done a job. Well done here. And I'll catch you for my next review of various bits and pieces. And some cordage reviews on when we're out the woods on Friday the 30th with Wessex Blades. Cheers now.